Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. This is Tech PBA. Thanks for joining me. In this video tutorial, I'll take you through easy step-by-step -step way of how to set any song, any sound, any music at all as your ringtone on an iPhone. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is to open the App Store and then search for the application called Garage Band. Once you search for it, tap on it to um, open it to, and then tap on Get to install the application. GarageBand is what we're going to use to convert our, a music file into um, a ringtone and then use it on the phone. So tap on Install to accept the installation. It's actually a huge um, file, so we'll set it aside to download in the background. And then the next thing you want to do is to um, enable screen re recording. Um, but then you need to tap and hold on the screen recording icon and then make sure to turn on the microphone because we are going to record the screen while playing the music um, on the phone. So once that is enabled, go ahead and then um, play the music you want to use as your ringtone on either YouTube, any platform you want. sound so once um, recorded um, it will be saved into your photos um, application and then you can continue from there so again go into the app store and then download the video to mp3 converter this is what we are going to use to convert the video file we just recorded into an mp3 file so I already downloaded it I'll tap on open to open it and I'll tap video to mp3 I'll tap on videos and then I should see my video the video I just recorded using the screen recorder I'll tap on it to open it in the timeline from here go ahead and then resize the length of the music from where you want it to start to where you want it to end it doesn't have to be too long it has to be less than 30 seconds but mine was a little bit longer. So once you select where you want to, where it, you want it to start and where you want it to end. I previewed it, so it was okay. I gave it a name. I named it as my ringtone song or music my ringtone music and then I, I selected mp3 you can either select mp3 or m4a any any of them would work but i selected mp3 and then i tapped on the converts once that is done it will convert the file the video file into mp3 file tap on the three dots and then tap on share um, to save the mp3 file onto your iPhone. So I'll tap on save to files. Once there, I'll select where to put it by tapping on, on my iPhone. Once I type on my, on my iPhone, I'll tap save to save it in that particular folder. So the mp3 file we just um, converted has been saved onto our phone and then we are going to go to um, we'll search for garage band on the phone you can search it in the app store you can search it on the phone once that opens accept the notification to access your microphone by tapping allow um, you can allow or disallow notifications so from here you want to swipe left on your screen so you see audio recorder and then tap on voice with a little microphone um, icon. My, um, the recorder I'm using couldn't capture that particular part, so sorry about that. So you want to tap on that icon, that little icon to disable it. 
once that is disabled um, you're also going to tap on that icon on the top left to get into your project um, timeline so once in the timeline um, you're going to tap on the settings once you tap on the settings you want to change your settings to automatic so just drag the radio button to enable it and then tap on that icon next to the settings icon and then tap on files tap on browse items from my phone app and then select the music file we converted earlier you may have to search other areas on your phone but mine it took me straight to my recent items that's why I, I saw it there I saw that single file there but you have to probably search other areas on your phone to locate the music file you converted so once you browse for it and, and it shows like this on your screen the next thing you're going to do is to tap and hold on the the file there and then drag it into your timeline so yes just like that you tap and hold it and then drag it onto the timeline from here um, just as we did in the converter earlier you are going to have to resize it to the, the length you want where you want the ringtone to begin from where you want it to end and it doesn't have to be more than 30 seconds it has to be 30 seconds or less so once you have the correct um, length you want just tap on the play button on top of the screen to preview it preview the, the, the song when you're okay with it um, you can then proceed from there so once you're okay with it tap on the the arrow down or the triangle arrow down and tap on my songs on the left and then once you do that it will save the song you just edited in GarageBand into a, an it will save it into GarageBand wait for it to save it to, to the appropriate um, size and then tap and hold it and then tap um, share once you tap on share you want to format the song as a, as a ringtone by tapping on the ringtone button and then once you tap on it um, mine was more than 30 seconds so it prompted me that it will reduce it to 30 seconds or less so I, I said continue I tapped continue and then I renamed the file or I renamed the ringtone to the musics um, um, the composer of the music and then the title of the music and then I tapped um, export once I tapped export it was exported to a ringtone file and then it says the ringtone export was successful so I'll tap OK here and then exit out of the GarageBand application from here I'll go into my settings and then I'll tap on sounds and haptics I'll tap on ringtone and then once you do that you should see your ringtone your newly formatted ringtone on top of the other ringtones I'll <music>